Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel. Today I'm gonna open up a non-JDM version uh, watch box over here. Standard box that you're gonna see a lot out there. Anyway, let's proceed with the model number GD120BD-1DR. A standard model which is very very new as far as the series name by the way. This will be the warranty card. This will be the module or the manual book. 3427 which I haven't covered yet on the channel as well I believe it's been a while since I unboxed one of this like very very well so I'm really excited to share this thing again on the channel and I'm very curious as well on how good this thing gonna looks like in real life or just I'm gonna share with all you guys of course about this very model so standard thing case instead of comes in black it comes in silver now so this is new with black part the top here only and by the way guys I'm currently wearing the uh, the 3 5th anniversary red out Devo 5635C model go check the unboxing review video for this if you haven't yet so let me pop it up in 3 2 1 standard thing again let me remove this right away so I've seen that this model over here was released uh, in Japan and also internationally last month in the month of January 2018 which is very interesting I made a quick uh, review or I talk a little about this on the monthly release video which I usually made as well so here is a G-Shock watch series that come with a leather texture they call this the black texture model if I'm not mistaken basically they just textured watch band and bezel that looks like leather instead of some random uh, camouflage pattern or uh, what I call earthquake or something like that in this case leather which is very very impressive in my opinion and it looks very unique as well anyway this will be the uh, price tag shock resistant all the function this model have which is pretty basic and the main highlights for this model is super LED light the auto light and the world time function Okay, now this is the watch at the front if you look at it just like that it's like totally basic it's just a black out version of a GD120 model except in this case the watch band and bezel is textured and that's and that's all that is all I'm pretty sure this is like a castle G-Shock trying to show off what they are capable of doing uh, by looking on how incredible detail that they could put on making a single low-cost watch like this since the price for this is lesser than 10,000 yen yet we're gonna get something like very very detailed made so awesome anyway we have G-Shock at the top here and protection over here and no writings at all on the sides because all of them was placed on the back plate if, uh, yeah there is adjust uh, mode and forward and reverse on there so that's very very cool you know what as we are looking at the back we already want to Casio 3427 model GT GD 120 BT stainless steel back made in China EL shot was open structure and also water resistant G-Shock watch to 20 bar very impressive fully matte black except for those back of course comes in silver and I've seen like a lot of watches other brand uh, that try to make something like this where they are just use plastic or resin or rubber or anything that's of those uh, properties to make a leather like uh, design but none of them are able to come even close to this one over here I mean they end up so something like looks like a toy more than actual leather but in this case it's so awesome I mean it looks actually like leather but when you hold it it feels like resin of course but the appearance itself very very nice two buttons on one side three screws silver uh, not glossy at all it looks more like a matte finish to me for the screws both sides go the same stitching going on, on this side over here all the way to this side as well and both sides go the same that is very very cool I really love on how tiny the detail is on the stitching part and they are very consistent and so far I couldn't find any imperfections in the stitching in there those just a uh, texture but it really really looks like stitching and that's as far as the bezel though moving down to the watch band we have more stitching at the front here two rows and one over here 
and they have this uh, bulging up part on this sides of the watch band looking like a I believe they call it the bone on a leather watch band there's something in there and they cover up with leather to make to support the watch band and make it even tougher that is very very cool idea over here and they also ended up with two stitching at the edge there very very incredible detail very very well made and all this the overall piece come with a I don't, I don't I don't know what the actual term is it really really looks like a leather bag and the shape itself not just flat as well it actually curved inwards a little bit at the front part here so that is incredible and if you actually hold it on the hand this watch band feels a little bit uh, what I call this thinner than the standard GD120 series watch band although the shape still the same taper a little bit at here and just straighten out a bit it feels it feels different like slimmer it feels I would say cheaper but then again the texture make it feel a little bit more premium so I don't know what to say about that but that's very very cool moving at the top part over here same thing again I mean you guys will see from this video as well look at how gorgeous it looks and it looks how relaxed it reflects on it as well so cool although the band keeper though it's just standard I wish they make this in something that looks similar as this leather texture over here as well but so far you're not gonna see this part most anyway so that's done and they also ended up with two stitching over here very cool and this will be the buckle G-Shock closely with Kelsey Thailand sign below it very nice not too much to complain about that however at the bottom part no texture at all but it doesn't matter this part are the parts that only gonna show whenever you wear this at the bottom part here as well just flatten out nothing much going on and again there's the back plate and that's pretty much it as far as the uh, exterior looking for this GD120 black texture model you can get this either from a GA110 or GA100 version all of them will come with a similar band and bezel since the size for this model for GA110 or GA100 are exactly the same so technically you can get either one of those and you could remove the watch band and bezel and add this on another model of the same 100 series so in my case right now i grabbed this because it's been a while since i get a 120 g-shock so depending on you guys you want to get a 110 or 100 series so up to you i kind of like the uh simple watch face like nothing no writings at all just cast you on top of there no g-shock no illuminator none of those just plain almost like a dark night model very very nice three out on top of there this will be the seconds of this will be some animations for the seconds counter over there at home time we have day date and time pretty much simple stuff and one of the interesting thing about this model is that they have dual illuminator super led in white yet gun glows in both sides over there so you got your timekeeping covered at any time of the day and if i'm mistaken you press this low right button down here you can access to uh three other city uh time uh, currently is the T1 it goes to the main city uh, home setting for this watch if you press this one there will be T number two which is a uh, default to New York City and London and economics can Paris okay now press mode button over here we'll go to the world time of course if you want to see other city world time you could do so as go through all this all of them have been already registered in here pretty much basic stuff press mode again we'll go to alarm we have one two three four five and one signal five alarm and one signal press mode we'll go to countdown timer if I'm not mistaken again we could set this thing up all the way to the very second so that's very good for precision and also the button as I'm pressing this they are easy to use they are comfortable so if you want something that is big case big size and full digital this will be a nice thing as well if you are not a fan of this or if you aren't a fan of the DW6900 series as well so this is an, another options for you to get since they didn't release a textured DW69 model yet so this is the only options we got I'm gonna press this light button now let's turn on the auto light and indicator will light on up there so there it is indicator 
just at the eye, tiny eye, I'm not sure, they, sh they should have made the indicator for this part of the eye instead of over here, you know, since it's very easy to see, but it's all fine. Alright, so let's test the thing out, flatten the watch and tilt it, the auto light will turn on the light, so you got that cover as well. And we have here other things such as the flash alert, the signal, the alarm, and also the mute. A button so that's all that you got just in case you are wondering we don't have any snooze alarm in here so that's that as far as the watch design the body the overall look uh, how some of my thoughts and opinion on this very model now let me remove this limited edition red out series g-shock watch to put this thing on my wrist and just show you guys how this thing gonna feel like By the way guys, I'm not a big fan of a leather material uh, accessories or outfits because, I don't know, it's just me, but if you are a fan of this, this is indeed for you guys. And I'm just gonna share with all you guys how this thing gonna fit on your wrist, just in case you are wondering, and here it is. Standard GD120 big case uh, fitting, but yeah, it looks different, especially if you don't know about this uh, type of G-Shock, you're probably gonna think that this is a leather watch, but then again, this is not like a very, very cool idea. I mean, the idea itself is very old, but the execution for this model, for this, the cast you have done over here is very, very impressive in my opinion. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys found this video a little bit useful, informative, and entertaining as well for your future reference. Leave a like if this video does help you, and also subscribe to see more contents like this coming up in the future. Thank you very, very much for watching. I really, really appreciate your support, guys. Thank you very, very much. This is G Shock High Fashion Channel, and I'm out.